I'm going to talk about a very low tier character I like to call Bison right here. Uh, we're going to talk about what this character lacks. We're going to talk about his strengths. Uh, I don't see any, but uh, okay. Um, let's just go to the chambers. Let's let's just go. All right, guys. Uh, so here we're FC Andre. We're in the chambers and we upped our production. So guess what now? Hack's got a voice. Oh, man. So Hack's going to be helping me here out in the lab. This time... It won't be so boring because I won't be using just one character, but I will be using Bison for most of the segment because that's who we're talking about. Because, you know, he's so cheap and overpowered. No, he's not. Like Canada says. Yes, he is. And New York says. And Cali says. <laughs> so, probably South America says it too, <laughs> on the low. Up there in Brazil, they're having their orgy party. So. That was Bison, though. <laughs> it's cheapo. <laughs> Bison is cheapo. All right, so let's get to the uh, nitty gritty here, as I would like to say. All right, so. I'm gonna go through some of Bison's normals, right? He's got a standing jab that's six frames. Wow. Six frames right here. That's a six frame jab from far. Uh, it, actually, you know, it does have a nice hitbox. It extends a lot, a little bit further than what you see here. Can you put me in? It's not good. Oh uh, yeah, I can put you in. So we're gonna put Hack in here, so, so he's gonna demonstrate some things, right? Yeah, you know, some combos. So you press it, all right. Uh, his crouching jab is neat too. It's four frames. It looks, uh, it looks puny, is it? And it's chainable. The thing oh, about okay. it being chainable, right, is that you can't master it. So I want you to mash DP on block when I try. Right. So you guys can't mash. Do uh, it again. Do it again. I didn't try hard enough. All right, all right. it work. See, the thing about it being chainable is, and what people need to understand about the importance of that is, is mm -hmm. that you can change up the string. I do that to people. I'm going to tell you why I do that string to people. Sometimes I do the string to people to simply see if they're mashing. <laughs> okay. I want to see what type of player I'm facing. So if I know you like to mash, right, I'll just put you in that string. What ends up happening is uh, physically the player fumbles on motions. Mm. You're trying to mash so much, right, that I can stop and try to grab you. Because you're so busy trying to mash, your DP didn't come out. Okay. It stops, I grab you. Or I just let your stupid DP come out late <laughs> and, <then laughs> and I punish you for it. All right. So that's that. Uh, he can also chain it into a standing jab. You don't actually have to time that length. Just press it. Um, this is a, that's a, I forgot, it's a plus four on block. Yeah. Oh, wow. Boom. Plus four, plus two on block. I, I'm not too sure which one that is. I don't have to be accurate. Just know it's a frame trap. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, this is the standard frame trap people go for if you would stay. they go one, two, three, and if you hold up or try to walk back or think that I'm gonna grab you from this string, right? Mm -hmm. You get uh trip guarded by the crouch and forward. So oh, I'm wow. sure you... Yeah, see? I try to jump. Yeah. Ooh. And that's what happens. That's why that whole string was created. Because when bison goes for a stand up psychologically, it looks like to the player that I'm going for a grab. But you mix it up by not doing that. You go for that. So yeah. that's that. If you're afraid of people mashing, you guys can just add crouching short and nothing will happen. So let me show you. So hack that, okay. hack you mash. Wait, hold on. No, mash on on DP. Okay. See? Yeah, it's a safe string. That's a safe string. Pretty cheap. Aha. But to get charge time, you guys might want to add a um, extra uh, uh, jab in there. So you would change the string to crouching jab. You know, one, two, three. Okay. That's what you would So do. after three jabs, could you scissor kick or it's not a real shame? Or... That's not what you're doing it for. You're, okay. What you're doing it for is for the plus frame because they don't know when you're going to grab them. You see mm -hmm. how instantly I went into a grab tech there? Yeah. Right, see, I hear you mashing on grab, but you can't actually tell when I'm going to grab you. Exactly. See? Yeah. yeah. You saw how fast he went into it. But uh, moving on to his normals, he's got a three frame crouching short plus one on block. I, I actually can't complain about this normal. This normal is great. So it causes a lot of pressure. It can be, uh, it can be linked into his standing short. Okay. Remember, guys, that's a link. It's not, it's not a chain. It's not like a jab. You don't get it for free. I understand the balancing uh, that Capcom did around that. It would be super abusive if you could just mash it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, some people, some people do have chain <laughs> rules, but we'll be getting into that later. Um, he's got a nice five frame crouching forward, and he's got a, he got this. Uh, Six, he's got this weird seven frame crouching strong here, but it's plus two on block and it creates frame traps like this. Okay. I want you to try to jump after I do crouching strong. I got it. Oh, no, just try to jump after you block it. 
See, what happens that you see how you weren't even able to get off the floor there? Yeah. You're holding up the entire time, right? Yeah. What happens is, right? This is plus three on block, right? I, th I think I told people it was plus two before, but it's not. It's plus, it's plus three, right? Uh -huh. What happens here is my roundhouse is six frames, right? Okay. So, in theory, I just put three flame. I just gained plus three on block. All right. So what ends up happening is, it's just that my roundhouse indeed becomes a three frame move. Mm. You Good. have four pre-jump frames to get off the floor, right? Yeah. This gives you one frame to, to get off the ground now. Yeah. Because of the whole the whole subtraction and addition there. Mm -hmm. Three frames, you're trying to four frame jump. Yeah. Four subtract three, one. A lot of people don't realize that of the, there's, there is a four frame pre-jump, right? And you're, yeah, and this, and this, you're not invincible. Well, not everyone has the same four frame pre-jump. Oh, really? Like Zangief has a, a, a six frame jump. Ooh. But in terms of this, uh, it's just the science behind it. A lot, if, if people understand frame data, but more, that seems like more matchup specific stuff, and you, you'll make the right precautions. Like that. Yeah, I'll be getting into that. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Bison's standing forward and standing roundhouse are the same frames. I don't really need to get too much into that. They, if you could connect roundhouse in a combo, that means you can connect standing forward in a combo, okay. like like this. Oh, let me hit you with it. Okay. Hold on. Let me make that connect. There we go. So that's roundhouse medium kick should connect to. But for some reason, medium kick is always is always easier to connect. Fuck, well, I don't know. I guess here. Fuck it, I'm not doing that combo. <laughs> you guys can eat dicks at home and do that combo yourself. Anyway, um, but it does work. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's what it is. Um, Bison's standing short mm -hmm. is great. It's plus two on block, plus okay. two, plus two on five. I'm so confused about this move. I forgot what the frame data was it for. But this creates the same mix up that this one does. And unlike his jab that has this close standing jab, right? Okay. Because he has a he has a far standing jab, right? That turns into a six frame move and it doesn't get as much plus frames as this one does. Mm -hmm. You want to use the standing short because it allows you to walk forward and cause pressure. So. As you can see there, uh, mm -hmm. like try to uh, try to jump over my normal after I put you in a presser or jump away. Like, okay. See that what happens there? It creates that pressure situation. Yeah. So you it, start getting ticked to death. You don't know what's going on, and you know you land. It just creates that pressure, that confusion. The opponent exactly. doesn't know when you're gonna stop ticking. And them, it like, honestly gives you time to think about your next. It really does. Yeah. And you know, as usual, you can grab. <laughs> yeah. That's what God. it's all about because Bison doesn't really have that much of a meta game outside of doing scissor kicks. Yep. The cheap, cheap scissor kick. Yeah. Um, for you guys that didn't know, I know you guys like to watch. You guys like to do this frame trap. I know you've seen it before. So I want you to try to uh, crotch tech a grab after this. Time. Okay. With, uh, with with short or medium. Yeah. Much? Okay. Hmm. The hell's going on? Oh, there, there we go. go. I'll, give I'll put some more blocks done on you. What the hell's going on? Got to delay it a little bit. Yeah. All right, hey, we're back, guys. I had to take a little business break there. <laughs> um, so let's get into Bison's uh, meta game again. I gave you guys the tools you need to stop people from basically doing pe people holding up and uh, stand teching. Okay. Now I want to get into people crouch teching. Crouch teching Ooh. is a it's a it's the beginner's advanced technique. <laughs> it's a <We> disease. <laughs> yeah, to Bison. Okay. Basically, people uh, crouch teching. I guess it's a down back with grab. Yeah. Right, and you hit it at the same time while you're able to be grabbed, and you'll get the option select of your crouching short or crouching jab for some characters. Yeah, this is actually the simplest option select I can believe in the yeah, game. Yeah, and what'll happen is, if I'm not in range, I'll get hit by your crouching short, and if I'm in range, you get your tech. Mm -hmm. yeah, just like that. So, what happens here is Bison has frame traps and he has the ability to, uh, most characters do actually, I'm not gonna say like, he's the only one, but, his is special because he actually needs to rely on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's his mix-up. He gets it. damage off of it also. Yeah. I'll, and I want to show that right now. So uh, basically, what will happen here is I can go one, two. That's the frame trap, right? But what happens here is if Hack actually tries to crouch tech and time correctly, if I leave the proper gap mm -hmm. in the frame trap, you'll be uh, punished for it. Okay, let's try it. Oh, let's do it again. Oh, too small. Ooh. 
too too tight. No, so that's it's, a, I, it's actually you, you're cross checking early. You're cross checking on the limb. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So what happens is he eats a counter hit, and I get that string right there. Hopefully, I can show you guys. If I can't, I'll try it a couple of more times. There you go. Well, Look at that. That's two seventeen. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to show people, and since uh, you know we're working with humans here, yeah. we're bound to make some of the potential damage we can actually. Yeah, I just want to show them the potential damage that comes out of this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is the only damage fucking bison gets ever. <laughs> Basically, if I hit you with that fish, I can get that on counter hit. Oh wow! Did it even happen on counter hit? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. oh it's because. <laughs> Computer's not on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, All so right. let me take away some of your life right here. Uh, basically, 309 is what happens, right? So, boom. 309 oh, on wow. counter hit. That's, look at Ryu's life. That took more than his name bar. That's for him a trying to sad come. evil Ryu right now. So, that's what happens if you try to crouch tech and that happens. Mm -hmm. um, basically, another frame trap I want to go over with Bison that people don't know about and they're not too frequent of is his standing forward. His standing forward is plus two on block. Yeah, you're if the you, only bison I've seen use that, and it, so it's because it's plus two on block, and it you know, creates... the people don't know that. And this was a technique taught to me by Javis, Javis Arias. Shout out to Javis, famous, famous ball player. Famous? Miles. <laughs> oh, you trying? Oh wow, is that hack shitting on somebody? <laughs> That's Let's crazy. Go. Let's go. Um. Anyway, so you know, try to press like uh, crouching short or crouching forward in between the string. Okay. Uh. If I leave the proper gat, you'll get hit. Mm -hmm. That's a gat. It's hard to say if I leave the proper gat. I mean, gat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we just saw it. It's a 115. Uh, pretty good counter hit. Uh, yeah. He, the thing about it is, I think the actual strength to, to these uh, different frame shots is the, um, actually using them in different um, times. Uh, yeah, just, do, just switch it up. Exactly. It's all, it's all about the, the mix-up. Yeah, like the pressure is ridiculous. All right, so you know what? We looked through all of his... Uh, his normals, at least the ones that are worthy. Uh, <laughs> can we look at some of his special moves though? Let's start right, cycle Crusher, I actually have no problem with this move. They fixed the move the way it was supposed to be. So okay. if you go full screen and you would throw a uh, fireball. Yeah, fireball. Now, if I do EX Cycle Crusher, it'll eat it. it it'll eat it for two hits and that's good. You throw your EX Fireball, I get oh, to go through, dude. but I get hit. I have no problem with that. I shouldn't have like an over abusive move that gets me full screen and all exactly. that stuff. Exactly. Because I have EX Scissor Kick. And Devil Reverse and, and everything. And, well. Devil's Reverse is a great move, but it's so easily counterable. You can just DP it on the yeah, way down. It, it has no it. priority. Oh, let me do that again. I like the damage on it, but it there just it has no priority. It builds me great meter though, but it's so easily counterable even full screen. And you know whatever. I, uh, scissor Kick. Okay. Scissor Kick is Bison's best move. Short Scissor Kick to be exact. Of course, they nerfed. It, uh, it had to be his best move. Yeah. It uh. Basically, only does 90 damage now. At least Bison at a it's more than enough safe range, but opponents can jump out at any time they need to. So this is where the real mix-up is, right? If the opponent's gonna jump, you hit it's, them with the It's not a mix-up. It's just pressure. Okay. It's all about the opponent's mental fortitude. If they're willing to sit there and take the chip, or willing to sit there and or willing to jump and get roundhouse. Okay. In my opinion, though, I think pe most people should just wait it out. Bison has to keep guessing so bison does have the time to actually react right no he doesn't oh he does he's after every commit. bison that does it is guessing unless oh. <laughs> i don't know i change my weight to if you're going to be neutral jumping in the corner mm -hmm. like Let's oh, see. Okay. There's a kick, i'm going to walk up and counter hit you oh, wow. the, i mean counter hit you with my honors but the thing about it is, is so many people have better air buttons that and my roundhouse like it doesn't have the priority people think it does. Yeah, I can counter I hit it all day. Beating clean. yeah so it's like i'm walking up to my the opponent and i'm like I'm going to hit you. I know you're going to jump because you're desperate, but I'll get hit instead. And he'll get a big juicy combo for it, you know? Yeah, definitely. And it's like, it's, it's doing a lot more than my 90 damage pressure or the 80 damage I'm getting off the tip of my house. And even if I do hit you with the blunt round house, I'm only getting 100 damage for it. Yeah, so like after a scissor kick, uh, what would you normally do as a bison player in mid-screen? Uh, I just, just want to give people... I just, I just generally have to react to how people defend. Okay. I mean, I've had to work my game around that and... If I can get a short, 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 crouch, a crouching short, short, short scissor kick off, that's fine, but it only does 119 damage. Yeah. So I'm doing three perfect two frame links to get 119 damage. As a character where you who will probably do crouching forward, what, uh, crouching forward, no, do fireball, do crouching forward fireball. Like, mm. let, let, let my life go back up and then do it. Boom, right? That ended on the B on Bison, right? You did two easy inputs. I have to do three perfect crouching shorts for like, 
But don't block, of course. Wow. It, like, barely got past your name. Like... Yeah, I see what you're saying. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, All right, let's 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 move on to the head stomp and uh, Del Reverse. Head stomp is a bad move. It doesn't ah. track well. Ah. It doesn't actually does good damage, right? Yeah, it, does. Much. it does 120. The X, uh, the X I know is it. But if you just walk back, oh, it that. whips. And you get a nice juicy punish. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 wow. Look how much life I lost for doing that move. And if um, so, w what makes it practical? Where would you use that stomp? I see only you... in the corner, only okay. when the opponent's in the corner. Or for that, I have to guess full screen. If I think somebody's gonna be fireball spamming, I'll take one good guess at the beginning of the round, at okay. the beginning or at the end. All right, I'll well. do that. That's fine. I'll, t I'll, 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 I'll try to get a free 120. You know, <laughs> I'll try to sneak that in there. Um, that does it for Bison's. Uh, Special moves, uh, you and know. Psycho Crusher also crosses up. Oh, know, definitely. Actually. And uh, let's just show my like. Uh, I, I'll talk about how the Scissor Kick goes over some normals. Like it uh, goes over lows because it's on frame three to seven. It, it, is it airborne? It's, it's considered airborne, but okay. I mean, see, look at that. Look at that. It's cool, but not on startup because look, it's like I've seen people practically snuff it out more. Uh -huh. Then it win going over But lows. the one thing Bison players should be aware of is that don't be afraid to use it either, right? Like, nah, uh, you shouldn't be. Yeah, you should they, really whore out scissor kicks. Yeah. I mean, literally, like a prostitute at yeah. Vegas. Like, uh, well, like, <laughs> well, one thing I did notice, uh, what you were mentioning before, is that um, uh, a lot of Bison's uh, like frame traps give him a lot of time to think about his next move. So, you know, um, spice it no, up. No, 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 no. It doesn't. That's it, the problem. Uh, that's the real problem? Okay. That's the problem. This is why this segment is i need to be <laughs> oh so no we're going to the character change baby. <laughs> oh no what did i let's, do let's get this popping right now okay all right guys so here's what happens with bison i'm gonna be fair overall he has godlike normals and when i mean godlike i mean they're god normals i mean mm -hmm. compared to some of the other characters in the game i feel like nobody could out me when i have bison he has great special moves his special moves aren't godlike, they're just great. He has uh, decent punishes, depending on the charge he has. And he has the ability to get out of any situation needed. And that's cool. He has a teleport. I didn't go over that. I don't think I needed to. I think it speaks for itself. And he has the, the one frame devil reverse, which is one frame off the ground. That's what I mean when I say one frame. He also has head stomp, which is a good full screen move if you're willing to risk it and that's cool so i want to go into some of the bad points about bison now all right so let's go to the character select screen we're gonna do we're gonna choose four random characters what do I do? oh viper yes we're gonna do viper can i be bison we're gonna do viper can i be bison and, and bison back to back so look guys so bison's basic bread and butter right uh-huh is short, short, short scissor kick. Okay. We saw it does 119 damage, right? Oh, we didn't go over his ultras. Uh, are they even worth mentioning now? No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho Punisher used to be a good ultra yeah. when it was motion. They say it either react really to, but I don't know. Don't worry. By the end of the segment, I'm going to show you guys something that'll make you uh, make your really quick bison. All right, I'm the, I'm the boss in this game, right? Oh, so, you, so, two boss. so basically, bison jumps too goddamn high. Jump in on me, please. No, oh. get out of here. Oh, we got to trade for that. If I really wanted to, I'd alter you. But I'm feeling kind of nice today, you know? Fuck you, I'm not. So basically, you just lost 456. You know, that's full ultra. Yeah, I do give you guys that. That's full ultra. But... Practically, you lost 456 for jumping in because you jumped too damn high. Okay. Get out of here, man. Stop jumping. I like Jump too hard. Get out of here. Your strings don't mean shit either. Oh, gosh. Anyway, basically, Bison does perfect two-frame links, right? Mm -hmm. And Viper does a limb into a special move, which is a motion and not a charge, and she gets 180. Ooh. That's ridiculous. Do you know what Viper gets for a punish? Let me see. You know what? Viper has low life, right? Okay. I want you to pretend like I whip something, and I just want you to do crouching forward roundhouse scissor kick. Crouching forward round roundhouse scissor kick. Okay. We're gonna compare. Ooh. Oh, we! Oh, wow! That, wow. that was good. That was, that, that was good, hack. Give me, give me some knuckles for that. I'm gonna do a punish with Viper. Oh God. Oh wow! I got three forty-six. Wait, wait. Let, let me use a meter. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. Oh. Okay. Looking that. real nice over there. You know what's so <laughs> funny about that? She has low life. Yeah. So that, you know what that means? That means her life bar should have went down a lot further because you take so much damage, Bison. Gosh. Right? 
No, you know what ends up happening? Fuck you. The potential to lose is right here. Boom. Okay. All in comeback factor. Oh, wow. Bad. You know what? I want you to hit me with your jump hell attack into ultra. Uh, I'm going to just go straight into ultra. As a matter of fact, just do your ultra raw. I'll uh, do raw ultra. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Oh. So let's not forget that they overlapped as ultra with teleport motion. Oh. Oh. You, you having a little trouble over there, huh? So to the general player who doesn't play with charge characters, they might find that they're having some trouble doing Bison's Ultra because they overlapped it with a teleport ultra. Is it a punch? I mean, not teleport ultra, a teleport motion. Uh, That's great. I no, feel, I feel like oh, it's no, right no, 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 nothing's I'm, going I'm wrong. I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. I must you're not be. Doing, no, you're not doing it wrong. Oh, no. Oh, yes. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh holy shit. The, uh, you know what? I don't even want to fucking see his ultra anymore. Fuck you. That shit's over with. Um, we're gonna go. I just want to go through every. I'm, I'm not gonna go through every character. I chose Viper. I want to choose three <laughs> more characters at random select, and I want to see if they do more damage than Bison. Okay. That's all I'm asking here, folks. That's all I'm asking for here. All right. You know, this is your need to vent, so I'm gonna let you vent about the best character in the game. No, I also want to mention how these characters get their bread and butters off. These mm. characters have the ability to get their better. They have. They, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they were given the ability. Bison. There we go. Get that out of here, man. Do that again? No. Let me see if you're able to do it again. Oh, what do you know? I can air grab it. Oh. So much priority on a move, first of all, that doesn't come out fast enough to ever actually punish anything. Okay. Right? You know, unlike Abel's Breathless, they thought that was cool. <laughs> you can do Abel's Breathless late, and I'm going to show that. Don't, okay. don't think for one fucking second. I'm not going to fucking show that. I'm going to show how late I can do uh, Abel's Breathless, mm -hmm. right? And that it still catches an opponent as compared to... Oh, I have to do fucking Bison Psycho Punisher when you're Fireball, but before you cocked it back. Before yeah. you know how the character has like the Fireball animation. Yeah. I have to do it right before the light comes out of your hand. Yeah, it's it's almost impossible to react to. Like uh, I don't see where it's become practical. I have I barely see people get it out now. Oh. It's usually on wake up on random. All right, so gosh. all right, so Abuki, we have random Abuki here. I'm gonna show a limb into a motion move. Okay. So you did short, short, short scissor kick, which you had to. First of all, you know you can't walk up to somebody and do short, short, short scissor kick. You have to do four shorts to oh, get the wow. trash time. You're if right. you're walking, it, you have to dash in order to do three shorts. I'll show you guys that later, just to give you guys a little help. But Abuki can walk up to you any day and just get a random 166 off. Oh, I'm sorry, 156. But if I did, oh wow, whoa, that whoa. Was, you know that was her low kick. That was her low kick, re Rekka kick. Oh wow. Yeah, look, I did. That was a low kick. got 170. Oh, that's great. Thanks, guys. Oh, also, I like the fact that uh, fucking Capcom gave her a fucking target combo, which is a chain combo where she just goes through the buttons and does 200 damage. Oh, God. Oh. It's a roundhouse under? Oh, gosh. That took enough. Oh, 200? 170? I was mistaken. Oh, oh well. Uh, she gets 170 for pressing buttons? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> oh, let's not forget this is safe. That's safe. Mm. Try to punish me after that. I'm gonna let it rock. I'll block it. Oh. oh. No, actually I can frame trap you off of that. Oh, stay there. Oh, really? Hold on. I got I got a 2.5 frame you short. You got counter hitted for that. I got a 2.5 frame short. It doesn't make sense. No, Abuki has low life, so whatever she has it for, that's fine. Okay. I'm just saying, could I have my balance too? Yeah, I see. She has happening. overheads, right? First of all, get hit by the overhead. Okay. I can, Does Bison even have an overhead? No, Bison doesn't have an overhead because they thought a 90 kick, a 90 damage scissor kick was enough. Like, fucking annoying. Anyway, next character. Basically, uh, Buki, has, uh, Buki has the kunai mix up, so she mm. can always get her target combo off. So fucking aggravating. Oh, uh, next character. Let's see who we get. Bison, yes. I like Bison. So we saw, guys, 119 damage. Ooh, 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 this is a bad matchup? No, what's her bread and butter? I don't know who wins. I think Bison wins the matchup. Anyway, what's her bread and butter? Her bread and butter goes something like, so it's like that, right? People do one, two, three. Yeah, that's... Oh, wow, shit, that did 146. That was easy as fuck. Let me see this real quick. One, two, three. Uh -huh. I'm not even going to P-Link it. That's how much disrespect I'm going to shit on this character. Ooh, I didn't P-Link it. That was sweet. 146. No P-Link. No. You know I can mash on crouching short, 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 and the mm -hmm. EX legs and get more damage than that? 
Alright, oh, so, 166! Uh, so, oh, next so, character. So, so she does more about damage than Bison even. So we get it. Um, uh, no, we don't get it. One more time. <laughs> let's go, right, let's go to Abel! Alright, the, the, the star of this. Oh, Breathless! And this is the nerf Breathless too. Mm -hmm. Hold on, here we go. I'm gonna, I want you to do the slowest fireball you can think of in your life. Hold on, no, I know. I want the fastest one. You want the fastest fireball? Yeah, fastest fireball. Should we, choose, should we choose Gal? Sagat. No, we want a motion fireball, right? Sagat. Yeah, I like Sagat. Sagat. Yeah, the real boss. So I want the I want the fireball to come out a little, mm -hmm. and I want to show people how late I can do breathless. Okay, come on. So this fire low shot, fire yeah. low shot. Uh, so we're doing a roundhouse, or we're gonna do a short? Do whatever you want. That's Did you get caught there? No. You sure? I'm, I, try I, holding I don't want to get caught. No, try holding up. I want pe I want people <laughs> to know. I want people to know. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Let's do it again. Okay. Oh wow! I yo, did that really catch you? Wow, that was crazy. Oh, I'm done. You know what? Let's go back to Bison. Let's see. Uh, let me do that cycle punisher. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, 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 I even though uh, I see where you're getting at. Like, you do? Yeah. It, it, it's not fair. As you, he has ways around fireballs. Don't get me wrong. You even mentioned I, it. I do, but but, but okay. I have to be precise with the ex scissor kick. I have to be in range and have charge. Exactly, and it's none well, of them. Abel can roll through fireballs. He's a motion for it. You know what I'm saying? And so fi fire the fireball and okay. then hold up. So basically, that was from the Abel range, right? Uh -huh. Hold on, let me put it on you. I don't want people to think I'm faking here. That was from the Abel range. Boom, I'm out. Hold up. I'm gonna do it a little closer, just to even be more fair. Okay. Did you get caught there? Yeah, I got caught. Okay. That's when I was jumping. I probably could have blocked it. Let me... Oh, yeah. Try to block it because it will trip guard you. Yeah, definitely. Let's just, just see here. here. I'm going to leave it in front of you so there's no guessing on the block. Okay. Oh, no. It's pretty punished. It's pretty punished? Yeah, but you think about it at that range and with Sagat Fireball. I'm, uh... I don't know. I don't want to look like a hypocrite here. Oh, it's okay. I did it kind of earlier. Yeah, you anticipating it. You want to know when you got your opponent to the point where they're just like, I'm not willing to do anything okay. right now. And that's when you need to capitalize because this character doesn't have the damage to make people stay like that too long. They're yeah, going to start to realize that, eh, I'm not losing that. What, what's the risk if I do this right now? I get that's it. why they throw out like DPs. Like if you DP me right now, like it's like, what's that to me poking you and you're not losing any damage? Plus, when you block Bison all day, you get a whole bunch of meter. Yeah. So keep him grounded, right? Yeah. Uh, to anticipate jumps. If you anticipate a jump, go for the EX head stomp and triple. And then try to get your Psycho Pressure, uh, psycho pressure pressure on. All right. I can see why Bison is the boss of Shadow Loop. Oh, not anymore. Oh, look at well, Maybe I, an Alpha. OK. I they think need we, to give I, me CBS2 Bison. I think we just found the real boss. Oh, the real boss. Oh, oh, Let God. me try this EX head stomp in there. Ha. <laughs> oh, OK. You know, we're just going to end it on that note. Fuck all right, cool. Alright guys, so we're here at the end segment of I Need to Vent, and as you can see, I proved myself right. Uh, basically, Bison is lacking mix-up, damage potential, and the priority needed to create that, what you say, that, that danger, that awareness factor that you can, that pressure you put on your opponent, when your opponent knows that if he gets, let's say, randomly tagged by a limb from Viper and he loses 180, and if he gets tagged by it two more times, he's stunned. Or if you get tagged by forward, uh, forward kick from Abel and you lose 370, Bison lacks that. Bison can tick you over and over again, but the damage is not there to make the player go, I need to chill out. It's not there. So what ends up, what ends up happening is his metagame becomes sort of linear. And what happens with that is, people just inclined to take risks. They don't care. That's why Bison players feel like they get scrubbed out all the time. So to be honest with you, I do give you guys who play Bison a lot of respect for playing him. Not because I play him and I feel that if you play him too, you're good. It's just because he just lacks that sort of just like that, that scrub factor that, that's in these games these days. Like Ryu DPs you into ultra at half bar and he does 300 damage while Bison sits over here and he has to catch a low priority hell attack in midair, which is jump medium medium. And he has to do it at the right angle. It cannot trade. And he has to be charging in order to get nightmare booster off. And it, it struggles for like 296 or something like that. <sighs> I, I don't buy it. 
<laughs> fuck Capcom <laughs> for doing that. You guys nerfed them since vanilla, since Street Fighter vanilla. You nerfed them super to arcade edition. And then you put Yun and Yang in the game. And although you guys did nerf Sagai and that was cool, you still balanced him out as a character and he's fair now. He's, he's a very usable character. He has everything he needs to win. And the weaknesses that he deserves to lose. Bison just... You guys just don't know what to do with him. You guys should put me on a task, you know. You know, you know Capcom Jago instead of FC Jago, you know. That would be cool. I'm out.